Okay, dolls, so the first step would be to wash your hands and sanitize them. Um, I always wash my hands with some antibacterial soap, and then I use this ASP antibacterial cleansing spray for your nails and tools. And um, I purchased this from Sally's. And then the next thing you want to do, which I did these steps already, is to apply some cuticle remover and just, you know, clean the skin around your cuticles. So normally what you do is you, it has like a little spout on it, and then you just run that over the cuticle area. And then you just take your little stick. And I purchased these instruments from Sally's, and you can either use this one, like this, okay, or you can use this one. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> like this. And just, you know, clean up that skin around your cuticle Okay, so area. after you've washed your hands and pushed your cuticles back, the next thing you want to do is to file your hand, your nail bit. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. You just want to simply file it just to get the shine away. And that's it. This is just a Beauty Secrets nail file. It's a 100... Um, on one side and a 180 on the other side grit got that from Sally's as well and then you want to already have your tips out again I'm going to do a separate video of everything so that you can understand like where I got everything from now the size tip that I'm using for my thumb is a one you just want to make sure you measure it on your hand and then you want to apply a little bit of nail glue this is IBD brush on nail glue I use I have another glue that I use as well and I just glued a penny to the bottom of it so it'll stay up but I really do like the IBD glue okay now when you put the nail on you kind of want to go like this just to hold it there okay all right now once your nail tip is applied the next thing you want to do is to cut it now um with this nail cutter you want to make sure that the blade is facing away from you so that when you cut you're not necessarily cutting you know you don't want to cut your finger so and i really like this nail file i mean excuse me this nail color and i already know where i cut how i had mine cut and then you just want to measure it. Alright, so once you've gotten your nail tip on um, and you filed it down, I already filed mine down. You just want to make sure you're going straight across. You don't want to keep doing like a back and forth motion. You just want to file across, you know, to get your shaping. You'll probably end up shaping again later on. The next thing you want to do is just get the shine off the actual nail tip. Again, you don't want to be doing too much filing um you don't want to file aggressively excuse me i'm still trying to get the <laughs> the word in down for this acrylic and nail the nail word lingo um nail world lingo excuse me all right so you want to get the shine off your nail the next thing you want to do is just get you if you have an old brush a old makeup brush I just purchased one of these I think I got this from Sally's as well most of my stuff I got from Sally's you want to go ahead and get that dust off and the next thing you want to do is dehydrate your nails in this I purchased from Sally's as well and you want to make sure that you're applying this to your natural nail and not the tip and you want to make sure that you're careful not to get any of these products to the cuticle area as well and this is ASP brand. Okay. Want to let that get a little bit dry. And while you're doing the dehydrator and everything, you can start getting your acrylics together. I am using my ASP. This is um, the clear, but I did like a little mixture. I made my own little pink mixture and I just test them out on the top to see how I want them. And then the next one, I do have the intense pink one, but I like my, for my pink and whites, I like the, the clear that I came up with. And then I also have my ASP white. Again, these are all sold at Sally's, and I'll get more in detail with them in a separate video. Okay. And then my Malamer, 
monomer that I am using is also ASP brand. If I okay, here's my it. monomer and same thing, which is a bond your bonding acrylic liquid, ASP brand as well. I want to state that, you know, from everything that I've watched and learned and studied, most people try to stick with the same brand polym um, polymer, which is your powder, your acrylic powder, and monomer, which is the acrylic liquid. Um, you want to stick with the same brand with those two because they determine whether or not you get a lot of lifting and things like that. They're made to coexist with each other, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is use your primer, and I'm using the No Lift Nails Primer. And I got this from Sally's. I will state some of these products, um, and again, you want to make sure that you're applying this to the natural nail and not your... Uh, not your cuticle and a lot of people they um they can get allergic reactions to this stuff if it's getting on the skin and not necessarily on the nail okay now you want to make sure that your dehydrating you put your dehydrant and your primer on prior to your acrylic powder because again that's going to help with adhesion and also you know help keep the nail bed safe okay now this no lift nails primer i got this from sally's and as far as i know of you are um not able to get this if you don't have a professional um a professional uh discount card with them they have separate ones but the professional one i was told is the only way you can get the no lift nails i have it but it was just i was having a conversation with the the salesperson now, the next thing you want to do is get your brush. I'm using my Beauty Secrets number 8 Super Round Brush. I love this brush. I feel like your brush does help as far as like how hard or easy this is going to be when you're applying your acrylics. Make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room. I have my window open and I'm also wearing a face mask that looks like this. Okay, You want to make sure that you're wearing a face mask to protect yourself from inhaling the fumes okay and if you have children in the house whatever room you're doing it in keep that room closed off at all times and I wouldn't even allow them to go in that room for a couple of hours now what you want to do is just dip your brush in your monomer okay now the ball forming is something I'm still practicing this is my third time doing acrylics on myself so I'm still practicing, I'm still getting the hang of it, but I had a lot of people questioning me, you know, asking if I could still just do a tutorial so that they could see how I um, do my acrylic nails, which I think is pretty cool to see people do things from the start because that way you can, you know, you can watch them grow as they do this. Like I'm sure by next year sometime my technique will be a lot better than this. Okay. So now we're going to start with the pink. Again, I'm going to just dip my brush in a monomer. Pick up some of my pink. And again, remember, I am pretty much a baby at this. So if you know how to do this already and would like to leave some comments, you know, just some helpful suggestions, I don't mind. Um, <laughs> rude comments won't be posted anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but definitely some helpful critique would be wonderful all right so you just want to pat that pink one and then you can just begin to brush that down so that it blends in with the white and again if you have any lumps or anything like that don't worry about it because you can file it and you want to make sure that you're watching the edges of this because you don't want a whole bunch of acrylic. You want to try to stay as far away from the cuticle area and the sides. Not as far away as you can. But you don't want to have the acrylic built up on them. Because again they will lift. Okay. And again you know I, I would have to figure out a way to explain how to get the balls and dipping and everything like that. As I get more advanced at it I guess I'll be able to help you all. But for now, I'm pretty much learning as I go. Um, I do know that the wetter the ball, sometimes it can be a little bit harder. But in this case, I kind of want the ball 
to be a little bit wet. But everyone also does their techniques different. Some people do the nail bed first. And then they'll do the actual tips. So everyone does it differently. It's all about what brushes you use and what's easiest for you. Like how whatever. It's just like makeup. You know, you build up your own technique. But for me, padding seems to seems to help. Okay. And you just want to keep doing this as you get closer. Now, some people may uh, just use clear and not do the two separate acrylics. I like to have the the pink and the white. Um, some people would have just used clear. So, again, it's what you like to do and what you think is best for you. Okay. Okay. Now, once you've gotten the acrylic laid down and it's dry you want to just test it once you hear that sound and it doesn't the acrylic doesn't feel like really soft or anything then you know it's time to start filing now what you want to do is start from the sides you know and you want to press the skin back to make sure that you know there's not any acrylic or anything stuck on the sides you want to make sure you file the sides real good okay and then if you need to, you can go in and fine tune your shape and if you want to. And then what you want to do is you really want to start going over the top. And I do two, two different files. If you want, you can do this all with your electric file. But I surprisingly found that by using this file, which I believe the side that I'm using is the 180 grip. Um, it could be the 100 grip. I don't know. But the rougher side of this Beauty Secrets brush uh, file I've noticed helps me if I have any portions that are like really lumpy but again because I've masked I've, I've um, learned how to do the placement of the balls on the and making the acrylic a lot more level out it cuts down on my filing time which is the best thing because that's like the longest portion of doing your nails so you want to make sure you file you want to check it and when you look at the side you want to be able to see if you have any lumps or bumps. And as you can tell, I don't really have any. Okay? And that's just from filing this down. And then the next thing you want to do is just take your file. And I purchased this from eBay. You've all seen this. If you haven't, don't worry about it. Again, I'm going to do a product video. You just want to turn it on. It has different speeds. I rarely turn mine all the way up because once I get done filing... With this, I'm just simply going across to just touch up any extra areas that may need it. Okay. And there's a safety bit, I think, by the brand is called Koopa. I'm actually going to be picking that up. And what it does is it helps. It has like a little rounded bit right here. So when you're working on yourself or clients and you have like to work in the cuticle area it makes it easier so you don't cut them another reason why you want to start off slow is because if you're used to a drill and you don't, don't know how to handle it um, you don't want to be cutting yourself in your cuticle area you want to try to keep that area as neat as possible if anything just take the rounded portion of your file and just try to get in there that way okay so now that this is filed and you just want to make sure again you just keep checking your sides you just go ahead and dust that, get that dust off. And at this point, you can wash your hands or you can just use a nail cleaner. Um, this is just equal parts of alcohol and water. So I'm just going to spray my nail with this and just use a cotton ball to wipe that off. Okay. And this is just going to get all the little dust particles off. And then the next thing to do is just to apply your UV gel or clear nail polish if you want to use a clear nail polish. Me personally, I like the UV gel. So that's what I'm actually going to use for mine. And the one I'm using is the Sech Ultra V or Sech Ultra V. I don't know. It's one of those. And then... I'm just going to have my, you, you always try to have all this stuff together, okay, 
and turn on your little light and then just make sure you dry that nail and now what I'm going to do let me just turn this off so you can see now my light is a 9 watt and it says to cure this for 3 minutes I normally cure mine for like 4 to 5 minutes only because I don't have like one of those big powerful UV lamps or anything like that I just got me a nice simple one that I can use at home and um, I just cure for an extra minute or so just to make sure that um, the UV gel is cured. Now when you're applying your UV gel, please make sure you don't get it on your cuticles because when you put your fingers under the light, you won't feel a little tingling sensation. And of course, that happened to me multiple times when I was at the salon. A lot of that stuff, I don't, I, I don't have any burning with the um, nail file anymore now that I'm doing it myself. I don't have to worry about the UV light with the um, applying the UV top coat and it burns like I just a lot of the issues I feel like when they're rushing to just hurry up and get you in and out I don't have to worry about that I take my time to do my own nails so I'm gonna just turn on my lamp and if you want to um, you can just uh, set a timer and then you can um, once after you're done with that then you want to just put some alcohol on a little cotton ball and just wipe it down and then you're good to go. But I'll show you that step when I get done with this. Uh, so I forgot a step. Um, right as soon as you get done with the electrical file, what you need to do is go in with a buffer. And you want to start off with, of course, the most coarse side and then work your way around with the buffer you want to use all of the sides of the buffer you are just pretty much going to go across like this on your nail and then you want to end up with the purple side and this is just going to help smooth everything out they also have these at Sally's which is the I use the orange one and I've used the little white polar block as well but that's definitely um something you want to do because I don't know if you can see it or not but this nail now has you see the scratches from the filing you don't want to have that. You want to make sure that it's it's pretty much like nice and smooth like all the rest of the nails. That way when you apply the UV top coat, everything is just really smooth and polished. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and file this off, buff okay, it, and then put it so back. So once you're done curing, what you want to do is just get you some rubbing alcohol. And the percentage doesn't really matter. Um, just in case if any of you are w wondering, but I always use 91% um, for my makeup when I'm sanitizing things. That's the percentage that I use for my um, sanitation is 91% alcohol. If you can get any higher than that, then I would say get that too, but that doesn't really matter. As far as I know it for this, you just want to wipe your nail off. Okay, and then you should have already washed your hands, so you don't need to wash them again. If you want to just put spray some antibacterial cleansing spray on your hands again, you can. Nothing wrong with that. And um, you want to just take some cuticle oil. And you just want to make sure that you massage this in. And, you know, normally at the salon, they would use the hot towel and then give you a nice little quick hand massage with the lotion so if you want to do that by all means you're more than welcome to but you want to make sure that you're paying attention to your cuticles because when you are doing the acrylics they are taking a little bit of a beating even when you get a regular manicure so you just want to make sure you're paying close attention to your cuticles you know check them every day and just sit there while you're watching TV and just massage some cuticle oil into them but that's the tutorial i hope you dolls enjoyed it i'll make sure i get some pictures if you follow me on instagram then you've already seen um the pictures that i posted for this full set until next time dolls have a gorgeous day smooches Mwah.